blessings family welcome to another video yes guys so the other day we said r.i.p to take off because of the brutal m-u-r-d-e-r -E that happened you know while he was amongst his counterparts now one month later after the fatal shooting Houston authorities arrest a man and he was charged with the m-u-r-d-e-r -E um in connection of a takeoff killing so we feel good for that you understand patrick xavier clark 33 was the one arrested on east side of houston thursday evening another man cameron joshua 22 was arrested last month and charged with the unlawful carrying of a weapon that's what the chief said when uh, asked how the latter was connected to the case Fina said Joshua was at the scene and he was in possession of a weapon and he's a felon so that probably was the person in the video who was waving around the weapon I don't know this is allegedly all right takeoff was a member of the platinum selling rap group the Migos who was SHOT and KILLED outside a business on November 1 after a private event takeoff was 28 years of age. His uncle Quaver and Offset were the other two members of the trio, which is the Migos group. So once again, we want to say justice has now been served with the fact that they have arrested somebody that means they were doing their investigation you understand so that's a good good act yeah man i'm glad to hear that so let me know what you guys think in the comment section the authorities are still working to find and talk to witnesses so they are urging anybody who know anything more to come forward you know so borough and the police chief urged those who were on the scene and fled to contact the authorities to share what they know um any individual that's k-i-l-l-e-d in our city it's tough and it's tough in on their family tough on their friends everybody deserve an investigation that's what finner said who is the police chief you know and i agree with him but he is saying that people need to step up to do their part as a citizen if they see something they need to say something and fear should not be a way in which you don't say anything because i believe that when you report things to the authorities it's kept confidential step up and say something that's what the police chief finna is saying borough also went ahead and said that there were 30 people standing outside when the s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g happened he went again to say literally every single one of those people left the scene without giving a statement to the police. They found a few of them that night and others since then. But it's important that people come forward and say what they know. In the meantime, authorities have to rely on a large volume of video surveillance, cell phone videos, audio, physical and ballistic evidences, and S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G construction, reconstruction efforts in their investigation. Through that, they were able to deduce that Patrick Clark is the lethal S-H-O-O-T-E-R in the case. So they use all of the evidences that they have to come up with that conclusion. So that means they've been investigating from day one. Takeoff was a well-loved rapper yes he was a well-loved rapper and um you know it, it's so sad to lose someone and the fact like that the fact that he collaborated with our jamaican artist as well you know that really is a good look you understand so once again we're gonna say r.i.p take off um yes yeah, so in this other part of the video, I'm going to talk about Sean Paul. And he was one of the persons who collab with Takeoff. But this is based on the fact that Sean Paul performed in a very, very cold country. Yes, so we're going to get into that right now. Sean Paul has been experiencing life in sub-zero temperatures of the Australian mountains. 
Yeah, man. So Sean Paul has been on a tour in Australia on November 26th. He was at a ski resort for a special one-off performance to help launch the skiing season. Sean Paul's concert, which had an audience of 13,000, was a welcome challenge. And this is what Sean Paul said. I've done temperatures in winter time before. It was always very exciting, especially for me and the whole team, you know, the band being from Jamaica, not used to those temperatures, those extreme temperatures. You hear about this side of the world a lot, and you wonder how could people live there. And I guess a lot of the cups of Coke and coffee in the morning, which is what I did this morning, really helps. You know, so Sean Paul was really excited of being in the cold weather, performing in Australia, and, um, you know, that's very, very good to hear. You see what I'm saying? No, there are other concerts that he's going to have. One is going to be in January. One is going to be in December. But you can go ahead and check the schedule. If you're in Australia and you want to go check out the Sean Paul's concert. I have some Filipino friends living in Australia um, that's one place on my bucket list that I want to visit. But once again, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please remember to hit the like button, share the content, and also subscribe if you know if you like the content or if you want to explore the channel to see what else is there. Thanks, guys, for your continuous support. Stay safe and stay strong.